In this video, why improve the competence of communication in remote teams, on the one hand, you will learn or remember that it is a competence and its importance in the work field, and on the other hand, you will understand why we have not focused on the competence of communication in remote teams. For this, we have set some objectives that we present to you here, and at the end of this video, you must be able to be clear that it is a competence and differentiate between generic and specific, you must be able to understand the importance of the competencies in the work field, and you will understand why it is important to acquire or improve, depending on each of us, why the competence of communication in remote teams is important. Competences are an intangible value, highly valued in the labor market. There are many definitions, but we must keep in mind that it is an intrinsic characteristic and that it can be developed, that is, it is a complex know-how that integrates knowledge, skills, attitudes and aptitudes. We can also say that it is made up of skills, which is complex know-how, skills, which is simple know-how, and of course, of the knowledge, attitudes and aptitudes mentioned above. Within the competencies, we can differentiate between generic and specific. The specific ones are those that are aimed at the professional world, theoretical knowledge and procedures of each profession, and the generic ones are common to all professions. They are those that cooperate in the implementation of occupational tasks and that are transferable in the sense that they serve in the different professional areas. They are, so to speak, personal attributes that enrich the behavior in the profession. The nature of generic competences can be described as a knowledge combined with the answers learned during the experience to environmental stimuli and with the desire to make an effort to identify original answers to particular situations. Therefore, nowadays, the competent subject is not the one who knows how to use knowledge in an unequivocal and rigid way, but the one who knows how to adapt what he has learned creatively and flexibly. Therefore, generic competences add a differentiating advantage that allows you to compete in the labor market, get good jobs, better salaries and, in general, maintain a high level of well-being with yourself in different areas of life, personal and professional. Therefore, generic competences are very important to manage interpersonal relationships, communicate effectively, make decisions and even develop themselves and those around them. In relation to this, we can follow advice to improve generic competences. Here we present you eight, but you can find many more. Be aware, interact with your team, be optimistic and positive, be motivated, be sincere with your skills, play as a team, communicate effectively and efficiently and also learn to prioritize. Due to new technologies and technological advances, among others, the generation of knowledge has a decisive importance in organizations. Consequently, companies require more and more qualified workers, not in the production and distribution of goods and services, but in ideas and information, which is what gives rise to knowledge. If you are more interested in this topic, we recommend that you take a look at the UN ISO 30401. We have commented this because these changes have accelerated the need for requalification, training, learning and large-scale redistribution, so recent studies, as shown here, indicate that 50% of employees will need to acquire new competences for 2025 and 40% of basic competences will have to be changed in the next five years. Therefore, the labor market is evolving and we must evolve with it. Here we leave you the links of these reports that we have mentioned now. Because, as you will see in the next section of this course, communication, interpersonal communication is the process by which two or more individuals share and transmit, exchange messages, feelings or information between them. Communicative skills and competences define the success or failure of an individual, both in their daily, personal and professional life. People with a higher level of interpersonal communication have more advantages in the professional and personal areas, 
and social skills seem to be a very important mechanism to acquire such relationships, and when they are experienced, there are obvious signs of very evident positive results. In addition, as has been briefly mentioned before, we are immersed in what we call the society of information and knowledge. So much so that the use of technology has transformed the way we learn, share knowledge and communicate with others. The use of TICS has generated different alternatives for the preparation, reconnection, transport, consultation, storage, presentation and transformation of information. The TIC has generated innovations in labor processes, which in turn has allowed virtual environments, based on the use of virtual meetings, email, chats, video conferences, forums. And these virtual spaces represent an alternative that eliminates geographical barriers or time availability, as they do not require face to face assistance, since access to the network allows interaction, debate, sharing information and developing collaborative and cooperative learning to develop joint work. These technological advances, which have transformed the situation, also make organizations work more remotely or on a regular basis. Therefore, this requires adapting skills to digital skills, among which is communication in digital environments, which would be the ability to transmit information online and reflect on the best way to present this information to different types of audience. This has become something very common in workplaces. However, this gives rise to workplaces that are in different geographical areas and tend to be associated with a greater variety of different norms in their environment, among other aspects, which can reduce efficiency in communication. This is one of the challenges that teams face, communication. For all this, in this course, we will work on the ability to communicate in remote teams. In the professional field, elite companies define talent in a series of factors such as drive, resilience, confidence and of course strong communication skills. As Orban Bruce said, the quality of our communication and the quality of our life are directly related. So, the competence of communication is something that we must be continually improving. Is it possible? Yes, but this requires a real and conscious effort of oneself and the will to improve. This is what we are going to help you with in this course, to get to know you and know what you have to improve in terms of your communication skills in remote teams. We consider that after these brief explanations that we have introduced to you, you are clear that it is a competition, the difference between generic and specific competitions, and you have understood why they are so important and necessary in the work field. And you understand why it is important to acquire or improve, depending on your training, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, to acquire the competence of communication in remote teams. Here we leave you bibliography and references in case you are interested in expanding your knowledge on the topics discussed here.